Hello, I'm James and I work for Moist Pelican. I've been asked to look into warp films and how they function as a media company. We're going to be looking at the five key areas of the company, which are ownership, operating model, products, market position, and warps competitors. But before I get into these, I need to explain a few key terms. These are conglomerate. This is a company that is made up of lots of smaller companies called subsidiaries. Think of it as like an orange, lots of little pieces making up the whole thing. Big media conglomerates include 21st Century, Warner Brothers, Sony and Disney Company. Indie Independent. These companies are not owned by another company and operate and makes products by itself. Warp is an indie company. Indie Pen Dant. This is where we get the shortened indie word from. Cross media ownership. When a company makes more than one type of media product by owning companies that make different media. BBC have radio, TV, digital and film. Commercial. It means it makes a profit. This is what most companies exist to do. Public service broadcaster. Funded by public money like the BBC and the TV license fee. Channel 4 also has some PSP remit. Joint Venture When a company works with another company, for example Warp and Film 4. Ownership of Warp Who owns the company? This is Rob Mitchell and this is Steve Beckett. These are the owners of Warp. Is Warp a conglomerate? No. Warp are in fact an independent, or as us media wizards call, an indie film company. They do link with companies like Film4 to make their products, productions and distribute the film. Warp are also a cross media company as their origins are in being a record company. This allows them to cross promote their media by using music they've produced in the films they produce. For example, Arctic Monkeys, When the Sun Goes Down, was used in Scummy Man. Warp's operating model. The operating model is how the company operates to work together to produce and promote products. There are two ways for media companies to operate. The first one being a horizontal vertical integration. This is how most conglomerates like 20th century work. This model maximizes profit by keeping all marketing and production with one company. Although this can also work for independent companies like Warp, but will mean they have to work with bigger companies film for. Warp do not use the vertical integration model for their films because they do not have areas of the company which can distribute so they have to use Film 4 for their distribution of trailers, posters and other things to draw in consumers. Film 4 do this by broadcasting across their multiple platforms, TV, radio etc. But Warp films also produce their own marketing strategies and distribute their films for download on their website. The film production process Companies like Warp Films have lots of departments within the company which do different things to make the film. These departments fit into three categories, pre-production, production and post-production. Pre-production, working on the film before the filming starts. Production, whilst the film is being filmed. Post-production, after all the scenes have been filmed and the distribution of the film. Often departments will work together between these three categories, for example, costume design, will work with the actors. The financial and production costs will work with lighting, wire work and pyrotechnics to work out a budget. And directors and producers will work with the editors to make sure the film is what they believe it should be. Products. What types of media do Warp produce? As you can clearly see, Warp have made a large variety of products spread over music, film and TV. The audience they try to reach is in the 18 plus region as many things they produce like films and TV have an 18 plus age rating on the films. For example, Dead Man Shoes and Tyrannosaur are both 18 plus films which both have made. Here are a few films with their budget and how much they made at the box office. Dead Man Shoes had a budget of 723,000 and at the box office made 101,186 pounds. Four Lions had a budget of 2.5 million. At the box office, they made 6,968,562 pounds. Tyrannosaur had a budget of 750,000 pounds. 
and at the box office made £396,930. This Is England had a budget of £1,472,500 and at the box office made £5,058,600. Market position Warp Films are a very respected company in the independent British film industry due to the awards they have won for films like Four Lions and This Is England. This has allowed them to open offices in Sheffield, London and Melbourne, Australia. Many people would say Warp Films are an important part of British filmmaking due to the independence and c the creativity it can allow. Warp's competitors Due to the film industry being a very large industry, there are a lot of competitors for Warp Films. Main competitors are big companies in Hollywood. These companies make it harder for Warp to release their films in American cinemas. More independent competitors for Warp are Working Title, Seesaw Productions and Big Buddha Films. Working Title is now backed by the conglomerate Warner Brothers. This means they have a lot more money and can now make higher budget films similar to Hollywood. I hope this video has helped give you an insight into the company Warp Films and everything about them.